I've been dealing with with, uh, with depression for a while now, um, since I was a kid. I stopped taking my uh, my meds a while ago, which was a mistake, and it culminated yesterday into uh, into my um, taking some some sleeping pills and then and then going into into a, a blackout. Um, but a lot of it has to do with with my coming to terms with with the stuff that I'm having to deal with inside of inside of my head, which is not which is not funny, yeah. You know? And it's not funny, and, and people who, who make fun of it and make, make light of it. Um, I wish that it doesn't happen to them, but, you know, that's something I'm struggling with. Uh, I need to go back to my doctor and talk to him and, um, you know, try and kind of corral it. People who, um, who, who have, like, uh, like, a chemical imbalance in, in, in their brain, typically when they're on their medicine, they'll stop taking it because it, 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 they feel fine again. And I just stopped taking it, and I'm kind of now uh, having to come to terms with with what happens when, when that happens. Because I hate this. I hate the way I feel right now. I hate how I've come off. You know, um, this is annoying. One thing I wanted to talk about it a long time ago, but when I was a kid, and, and it's one of those things I've never discussed because I've never wanted people to. Um, this isn't an excuse for anything, but when I was a kid, I was molested for two years by a teacher. And, and, and that's never been talked about anywhere. And from that moment, my life changed immensely. Um, and I haven't talked about it because I didn't want to use it as a crutch. But I'm seeing as I get older uh, that it did have a huge, huge effect on me. And um, I always just thought that I kind of like brush it aside. And it's like my chemistry.